By the end of this video, you will be able to make use of multi-channel audio using OBS Studio for your Twitch live streams and your game recording. Let's get it. How's it going? Welcome to another video and today I'm going to show you guys how to set up OBS to make use of multiple audio channels for your live stream and for your recording and also have that same music muted in your offline recording and your Twitch VOD. Let's take a look at OBS. First things first, you need to have your scenes set up with your gameplay for recording or for live streaming and obviously with that comes your audio channels. So you can see here in my mixer I've got chat, game and system volume. All of these 100%, we're not playing any audio at the moment, that's not really relevant so it doesn't matter. What we're going to do is take a look at these settings in the bottom corner. When it opens up we're going to go to the output tab and the first thing we're going to do is check that we're not on simple mode. If we're on simple mode you won't be able to see the options and you won't be able to make the changes necessary. So. Swap that to advanced and right here under the streaming tab we have audio track and a Twitch VOD track. So this is how you differentiate what sound goes to your Twitch VOD and what sound goes to your live stream. And then here in the recording tab we have audio track here, one, two, three, four, five and six. This is how we differentiate what audio tracks your recording has. For your recording settings, you can enable or disable any number of these audio tracks as you need, and as long as you have a recording format that supports multi-channel audio like MKV, like I've got, then you're good to go. If you head into your settings tab, you can see that we've got audio track number one is checked, and then Twitch VOD track, the box is unchecked, and there are no selections made from the one to six. First things first, we're going to head over and check Twitch Void Track and you can see here that instantly enabled Track 2. What this means is that all audio that's going through Track 2 will be saved to your Twitch Void and all audio that's in Track 1 will go to your live stream. It is as simple as that to set it up, so let's show you how to select what audio goes where. We're going to hit Apply, hit OK and then head down to our audio mixer down the bottom. What you want to do for your game audio, we can hit the cogwheel, go to Advanced Audio Properties and in this dialog box here we can see that we've got Chat, Game and System which relates back to what is shown in the audio mixer below and we have tracks here on the right hand side. If you want your game audio and your system audio such as alerts and your Discord chat to all go to your live stream. All you need to do is make sure that track number one is enabled because that is the track in your settings that is selected to go to your live stream. If you want your alerts to be muted for your offline recording, you can uncheck number two. If you want your Discord chat or your alerts to be muted in your VOD, let's say you have a small clip that is an alert that is actually copyrighted music, you can turn that off in your VOD and to do that you just uncheck box number two. It is that simple. If you want some audio to go to your stream, make sure you've got track one checked in the advanced audio properties box. If you wanted to go to your live stream but not your VOD, just make sure that you've got box number two unchecked and the audio will not go through into your Twitch VOD. Another quick note, if you're planning to use multiple audio tracks for your recordings, then make sure that they are enabled in the recording settings and if you're using a format such as MKV, then you need to remux your video files once you've completed the recording. It's super simple to do. You head up into File, hit Remux Recordings, and locate the files that you've just created, and OBS will do that for you. It'll convert these into an MP4, and you'll be able to drag them into whatever editing software you want to use, and edit that away. And that is it for this one. It's a super quick, super simple setup, and it is very easy to do. I highly implore everybody to do this because it can improve the quality of your Twitch VODs for people coming back to your channel or checking you out while you're offline. If you've got any questions, leave a comment down below and while you're down there, hit like, hit subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.